What is Microsoft Power Apps? Power Apps allows you to create apps within your organization. You might have tons of data in Excel spreadsheets. If you can imagine your mobile device not having any apps at all and everything was a spreadsheet, can you imagine how chaotic that would be? Do you see how nice it is to have an app that interfaces with the data that you need to manage or keep track of? So Microsoft Power Apps allows you to build apps quickly and easily. Power Apps was created and designed for citizen developers. So you don't need to be a software developer. In fact, a lot of any coding that is needed within an app is very Excel-like, just using functions to referencing different things. So I'm going to show you, I'm gonna demonstrate creating an app, showing you how easy it is to use Power Apps and there's actually several ways. There's all kinds of different ways to create apps with Power Apps. They did release a new feature called Copilot. And this is sort of neat, especially if you're new to Power Apps. I could go in here and say, I need to keep track of all my dad jokes. <laughs> I needed to keep them all in a dad uh base <laughs> let's see what it does here for us okay so the data sources which you could use with power apps you can use excel spreadsheets although i wouldn't recommend that that's probably uh not the best data source but it's completely fine to start off with a spreadsheet i would typically recommend that you import that into something like sharepoint a sharepoint list but the power platform so power apps is a is one component of a suite of products um, that makes up the the power platform so you got power apps which allows you to build apps of course then you have power automate which is a lot like zapier it's a way to create automations then you have power bi which is great for reporting and there are other components within the power platform um, such as Dataverse. So it's creating for me here on this screen a database table for my dad jokes. And it is actually a SQL server underneath the scenes, and then they bolt some features on top of it to make it much more easy to learn and pick up. It really flattens the learning curve there. But you could connect to a SQL server. You could connect to a MySQL database or a Postgres server and there are over a thousand connectors of things that you could tie in and that the listing of all the what are called connectors there have been quite a few of them out there and they just keep adding to it as time goes on so for example if you go over to zapier if you're familiar with that tool you'll know that it can tie in all kinds of different things well you have something similar with the power platform Okay, so let's look back at this this database that it just created for me. Okay, so it looks like, okay, we have a joke. We have a punchline. Let's see what else it created for me. A rating. Okay, I like that. And uh, we have a, a joke ID. Okay, so we could ask it to do things. I think what I really want are more dad jokes. <laughs> sort of like more cowbell, right? <laughs> so I'm going to say... Can you provide, if I can spell it, 25 more dad jokes? And this co-pilot feature has been improving over time. Um, so at first, I wasn't able to, I wasn't too impressed at the beginning, but Microsoft has really been adding to this tool. And let's see if any, yeah, so some of them are, some of them are repeated, so you really can't rely too much on this. Let's see, gummy bear, a gummy bear, so they repeat it. But hey, we can look up our own jokes and get them into this app. So I wanna show you what it generates from this, okay? So here we could start from a database table, and then we could simply click on create app, and let's see what comes up. Okay, here is our app. Now we could use copilot to add more things but what i want to do right now is i want to exit out of that and uh the first thing that you want to do if you build an app with the power apps you always want to save it first so i'm going to call this dad joke db app i'll hit save 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run this program. And look at this. We have records listed on the side. Okay, and then it brings up the data here in the middle. Okay, now why is this better than an Excel spreadsheet? Well, with an Excel spreadsheet, let's say if I go over here to edit, you've got all those cells that people can click into and enter things. If you wanted to force certain things, let's say the number entered here should be one to five. Okay, we could force that. Let's get out of this and let's just add a new record. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll call this my joke, my punchline, and the rating is actually one okay i'm gonna click on this check mark so this is an app that it generated for us now we could take this and and modify it okay so for example we have a rating of one here if i wanted to add in what are called controls i could say rating i could add that and it's fine i'm going to unlock that data card and what i could do if I go over to the property pane here, I could set up the background color to be white and not see through. And let's uh, let's make this white like that. Okay. Now what I could do is set this up. So you see we've got the number showing up here, and it's inside of a, a text input called data card value three. And I'm going to use that as the default value for this rating control. So that is a text box. I'm going to say dot value or actually it should be text. There we go. Text. And we can move this back down. Okay. And for this particular data card, there's a property called update. So we could look at that text box underneath, but we, we don't want to. We want them to use this rating control. So this is called rating one. I'll click back on the data card and I'll scroll down and bring up the update. Where is that? There it is. And we'll say rating dot value. Okay. I'll save it. I'll run it. So. I would like to give this a rating of zero if I could, but let's say we went in here and gave it four stars and we hit save. Okay. Now I'll go to a different record that hopefully has a different rating. There we go. So why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they might crack up. <clears throat> okay. Now if I click on my joke, that should go down to the four stars that I clicked on before. Now, also, if I want to force this text box to only accept, accept numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this text box, this text input control, and I'll tell it, hey, only allow numbers here. Okay. And I'll run this. Let me go back to one of the previous records. And you see we've got just numbers here. Okay. And then over here, because that text box does not allow uh, alpha characters, A through Z, um, there's going to be nothing in there. So what this should do is allow me to type in something more like 100. Okay. So that is the primary key for the database table. Now you're not limited by this screen design here. So if I wanted to create more screens, I can certainly do so. And they've got some screen templates here. Look, we could do an approval request. Okay, so it's going to build out the screen for me. This is truly a rapid application development platform. So I'll pick dad jokes. Okay, and maybe we build out a screen that oversees the review process of a dad joke. Somebody comes up with a dad joke and they think it's great and they submit the request and it could go to a manager where they could uh, approve or deny it. Really your imagination is the limitation. Okay, so allow me to show you some templates they already have that you can use for the whole application. So I could bring up a, a new tab here, go into Power Apps, 
So if you work for a company that uses Microsoft products like Office 365, Microsoft 365, things like SharePoint, Outlook, Teams, chances are you're going to be able to get to Power Apps. So if that's the case, what you want to do is just go to make.powerapps.com. You can see if you can get in that way. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the home menu icon. I'll go full screen here. Now, instead of using this copilot here, we could start with an existing database that we build out. Okay, we could do that. Now, if I clicked on that, you see what I can do here. I can create it with a SharePoint list. You could uh, upload an Excel document or a CSV file. You could start with a blank table. But let me go back and show you something else. So you can start with this page design. So what I showed you before is something where it's got a gallery and then it's got data on the other side. And the apps that you build in Power Apps can be completely responsive. So if you see the split screen sidebar, the header main and footer, these are all responsive designs, which means if this app was used on a mobile device, it would automatically adjust. If you like Figma or you've made a little sketch inside of MS Paint, you could upload that and it'll build an app around that. All right, so I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to show you something here. Start with an app template. Now, this is great for seeing examples of what you could do with Power Apps. Let's say you wanted to onboard new employees or customers. You could use this onboarding task app. So we'll click on that. And you see that, hey, here are the connectors that it uses. So Outlook Tasks, Outlook, and it also uses Office 365 users. Okay. So look at this screen. This looks great. So if I click on Preview App, I'm going to make sure I'm signed into all these services here. All right. Now I'm going to click on Allow. Okay. So we're presented with a screen right at the get-go that allows the app to be set up. They want me to specify what user is going to be the admin. So in this case, I'm going to use myself here. I'm going to say Darren. So I just entered my name there and I'm going to click on add admin user. So I've been added and I'm going to click on get started. Okay. Welcome to the team, Darren. So let's get started. Let's get onboarded. So here we go. This is my funny little uh, profile photo. Well, I could set my profile photo. I could upload something or take a photo with one of the cameras. Um, so I could do all these steps here. As we complete these, we'll see a progress bar on each of these. So this is actually a useful application. So you can build anything that you want with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of full screen mode. Now that we're in Power App Studio, we can click on the different screens. Modifying these screens is pretty straightforward and simple. So I can bring up this screen here and I can modify these values. So whenever I click on one of these controls, what you'll find is just like in Excel, you can go up here to the FX bar and type in a variable, a, a literal value like we have here. We could perform a calculation. We could do all kinds of things. So here's a button I'm going to click on, get started. And as you can see, we use the navigate function that goes off to a different screen. There's really so much to, to show you of all the things that you can do with Power Apps. So I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions about Power Apps or to see if it can do whatever you're thinking of creating, let me know in the comments below.